What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Tim from 12 Pell and today we're going to show you exactly how we curate a new hairstyle for our clients. Today we have James in the chair and he's been dealing with the same hairstyle all his life. We're going to try to see if my suggestions will work. But before we start, please like and subscribe to get us moving. Let's get it. What can I do for you today? Like, like you said, I've been dealing with the same haircut since middle school. So um, the comb overs like that, The comb right? over like that, pushed okay. back a little more. Okay. Yeah, shorter on the sides. Sure. Like your typical, shorter on the sides, longer on the top haircut. Yeah, the comb over. And you're trying to change it up, huh? Yeah. I can see that your face, the face shape is more square. Very masculine, great jawline, more wider structure. Hairstyles that work for you is actually anything that you like. What I'm seeing, right, is that you have a spiral on the left side. So you could do a 60-40. That would be okay. the next level, right? That's like yeah. the safest play. It's very, very similar to what you had before, but your part would basically start here. But I'm feeling exposing the forehead definitely yeah. suits you a lot better, for sure. Yeah, the 60-40 I think might be best, yeah. Yeah, that'll definitely work out for you just because the spiral starts here. Okay. And so if we split it this way, yeah. it'll be a lot easier for you to manage. Okay. Gotcha. I, I can already see it. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, are you comfortable with going all the way down the skin or you want to do like a 0.5? Uh, can we try 0.5 first? Yeah, we can do 0.5. Um, then... You're looking to get rid of the sideburns or yeah. are you looking to keep some? Uh, we can get rid of them. Get rid of all of them, right? Yeah. Cool. So we're just yeah. going to skin that, do a skin taper on the neck as well. Awesome. So you, you told me before that you're growing, you were growing out these hairs. Yeah. Yeah, exactly where it should be grown out. We're going to make these, make sure that both sides are square. Uh, we're gonna make sure that there's hair on the sides as a platform mm. for both hair, uh, both sides to kind of sit. Gotcha. Uh, when you pull it back. Sounds good. Cool, let's get it. Because James is changing his hairstyle from a comb over to a 60-40 split, I had to make sure both sides of the top were equal. In a comb over, usually one side is longer than the other in order to pull over, but because we agreed on a 60-40 pullback split, both sides need to have similar lengths. Whenever I am pulling hair, I make sure to always have strong tension before I cut the hair. This will allow the hair to be cut with more precision. After the top is evened out, I go into sectioning the hair into a horseshoe to separate the top from the sides. Now that the hair on top is out the way, I'll go into my clipper over comb. This technique removes bulk and creates shape rather quickly if done correctly. As I'm doing this, I am making sure the top section is left a bit longer to leave a platform there for James's hair to sit on. The next step is to start the guideline with my clipper with the lever open, and that would be equivalent to a 0.5. As I'm creating this first guideline, I'm using my C-stroke motion rather than putting a solid line. This is because I am setting soft guidelines so that it'll be easier when it's time to fade. After the 0.5 is set, the one guard is next. I'll use the same motion and inch above my first guideline. James's hair is very dense, so I'm making sure to go over the same line with many strokes, as well as using the corners to get tighter. I'm repeating this all around the first guideline and fading as I go. Once the fade is all done, it's time to line them up and skin out the bottoms. Here's a tip when giving skin tapers on the neck. Do not skin the neck higher than two fingers below the earlobe. This will avoid giving your clients the look of a super long neck. After the skin lines are set and the edges are lined up, I'll go ahead and use my tapering clippers to get rid of those lines. Skin tapers tapered, lineups lined, now it's time to electric shave. I always use these bad boys to remove any stubble to go over the line work and to make lines extra crispy to avoid irritating my client's skin. Here I'm using my trimmers and clipper comb to ensure no hair is left behind when it came to the front profile. Okay, cool. So we pretty much 
finished the haircut, we're going through the styling, but I just wanted to explain one thing. We're putting James through a hair journey, hair growth journey, just because the last barber usually gives him a comb over that goes to the right and ends here. It's not wrong that we that they cut it short, but because we're going for a newer hairstyle, the ones where we the one where we pull it back, we need the length. See these hairs right here, really short. These hairs are gonna pull back much easier because of the length. And you're just gonna pull everything back. You don't have to worry about parting right now. All right, so this is the finished product. I hope you guys like it. What we gave James was a 60-40 split down his natural parting. Uh, we also gave him a 0.5 skin taper with the, on the sideburns and the neck. Uh, we had to make sure that the hairs in the back wouldn't fall off, so that's why we dropped the fade. Um, he expressed to me that he never had a cut this type before, and I hope you enjoy it. How do you feel? I'm excited. I've never had this kind of haircut or any other haircut in the past 12 years, so I'm hyped. Yes, it looks sir. great. All right. See you next time.